Oh, this is just a disaster. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face using Kylie Cosmetics. Um... If you don't like Kylie or the Kardashians or whatever, just click out. I don't need the commentary. I don't need it. Just click out. You saw the title when you clicked the video. Like, I don't understand. But anyways, um, I did get a lot of this stuff on Black Friday. This wasn't a part of my plan, my, my filming plan. But here we are. It's unexpected, but I'm super excited. Um, so, if you want to see how I achieve these looks and my thoughts on Kylie Cosmetics, then make sure you guys are liking this video, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching. Alright guys, so originally I was not going to record today because I just wanted to get ready and be in my zone and do my own thing, but I'm literally bored with my current makeup routine. I love it. It's mwah, chef's kiss. If you haven't seen my soft glam video, make sure you guys check it out. That is the makeup look that I've been doing for the past few weeks. Haven't switched up any product, any technique, any anything. It's been just that. But, but I got a lot of products. As you can see by the title, they are Kylie Jenner products. If you don't like her, just stop watching. Like I just, you see the title, right? Okay. But um, I went into Ulta the other day forgetting that it was Black Friday because I had to pick up a few things for work and there was so many people in there and I was like why is Ulta booming like this like what's going on and then I was like oh it's Black Friday so I looked around and all of Kylie's stuff was like ten dollars I think the most expensive thing I paid for was the eyeshadow palette which was about 12 these are not the regular price of the things but I got them on sale, so that's why I'm doing this video because I've really never tried her stuff. So we're gonna get it cracking. I did get quite a bit of stuff, enough to really do a full face to a certain extent. But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm really excited because I always see her stuff. I think her marketing is amazing. All her shoots, all her ideas, they slap, okay? They, they do what they need to do. But um, I've never really tried anything except this one eyeshadow palette that I don't like. It was like a money collection. Birth I think it was one of her birthday collections. I just had to have the eyeshadow. Hated it. Um, and I tried her gloss a while ago and it was just like whatever. But we're going to try a few things today. So she doesn't have any brow products. So what I'm about to do is do my brows off camera and I will be back. Alright, so I zoomed in a little bit more and I actually lied. Kylie does have brow products. They're called Kai Brow, but they just didn't have any in Ulta, so I did not pick any up. My apologies, but I just realized that as I was doing my brows, and my brows came out pretty good today. So, I'm gonna take everything out of this bag one by one, honey, because, mm -hmm. Oh no, I got the wrong shades. Oh, this is just a disaster. Okay, so I was about to put on my concealer for my under eye, but I picked up, well I didn't pick up the wrong shades, the wrong shades were in the wrong spot. I was supposed to get sassafras and toffee. I got toffee, but I got chai instead. So we're just going to have to work with this. Um, I hope this shade works. It looks a little bit on the peachy side, and I'm not really a fan of that. You guys know I like warmer colors, but this is going to act as my eyeshadow base today. So. Just going to go ahead and blend her out. That's what I get for not double checking. So you guys know recently I've been using um, like, what is that brand? My Beauty Bakery eyeshadow. And it dries as I'm blending it out. This one is not really drying. Again, not a big deal. Most concealers are like this. But um, yeah, it's just a little different than what I've been doing recently. You guys, I was not gonna record today because it's super duper gloomy. So hopefully my lighting is not, you know, when I do my makeup videos, I like my, my lighting to be really bright and like inviting, but it's not doing it. So anyways, just blending it out. It is drying a little bit more. So. So I did pick up an eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the only one that really appealed to me. I could have used my other one, but I really, really did not like the eyeshadow palette. Like, not even a little bit. It was like the Money Birthday Collection. Super cute collection, but I just, it just was giving ash. So I got the, um, 
the burgundy palette. Um, this is one of her regular palettes, so everybody has access to this. This is what it looks like. It's pretty basic, in my opinion, but I like basic. I didn't. I don't. I don't want all that color. I don't want all that extraness. So yeah. So I'm gonna start off with the color almond. It looks kind of like a satiny matte, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. And already, I can tell that these shadows blend so much better than that one eyeshadow palette I got. It's just blending so much better. Yes, honey. You guys know I've been dragging my eyeshadow like onto my nose lately and into the brow because I just like that look. So we're just gonna feather that in. It feels so weird. I haven't recorded like a sit down video lately talking to you guys i've just kind of been on go you guys know i've been doing lots of other videos voiceover style but i thought you guys deserved this so now i'm gonna go into the shade like i have so many choices mm. what do i want to do today because i'm actually leaving the house so i would hate to do my makeup and not like it I'm really trying to do my makeup um, like wearable because I'm actually going out today. So I don't want to do anything that's going to like, I'm going to regret. <laughs> so I'm just going to take almond again and I'm going to put that more in the crease and just concentrate that just so that it's a little bit more smoky because I don't have many options when it comes to transition shades. Um, I like these colors like you guys know I love mattes I could do any of these mattes on my eyes like on my lid but as far as the crease I'm very very limited but again Kylie is making a brand for herself for girls that look like her so on a Caucasian person these transitions will be perfect or a lighter person but for me not so much and using a different brush is actually giving my eyes a little bit more depth, so. I'm not mad at it. And I really don't have any technique today because I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I'm literally winging it and trying to figure out what direction I want to go without doing too much. And then I hate my makeup. Like I want to do something that I'm going to like because I don't have time to be uh, redoing my makeup. I really don't. So part of me really wants to do a matte eye, you guys, but I don't want to disappoint you. But I'm trying to swatch these colors and see. They're pretty, like, regular. Like, the shimmers in this shadow are not, like, super, you know, amazing. They're just literally basic eyeshadows. So I feel like, well, I kind of like that bronzy shade. I feel like she made these eyeshadows for everyday wear. Um, they're not super shimmery, super glittery. It's not that kind of palette. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. So, so I'm going to take some Too Faced Glitter Primer and I'm going to apply that on my lid just so that the shimmer could pop just a little bit more because I do want it to be subtle, but I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. I don't know what I'm going for. We're just going to see where this look takes us today, you guys, because I don't even know if what I bought goes with each other to even do a complete look so now i'm going to take this shade new york it's like a deep brown bronzy shade and put that all over my lid Honestly, the way I blended out my eyeshadow, it looks like I have like two transition shades in my crease, but I really don't. It's just two different brushes. The first brush I used in my crease was a Morphe 505, and the second one is a Mor Morphe M433 brush. So different brushes give you different results. So and that's what I'm working with on my eyelids. You guys know how I feel about shimmer for real, for real. And I'm just going to go back and blend that out. 
just so that the shimmer and the mattes kind of meet so it doesn't look because I don't even want that like fake cut crease look I just want a nice seamless eyeshadow look and you guys know I'm just concentrating it a little bit more on the outer part so that it does have like a smokier look to it and I'm not mad at these eyeshadows so far they're blending out flawlessly but it's crazy that this is a burgundy palette but it's not giving burgundy like yeah you have a red color in there you have a shimmery burgundy but this is not what I think of when I think of a burgundy palette and burgundy is like one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to use and it's just like it's not giving me what I thought it would so that's just my thoughts on that so now I'm gonna take y'all my brushes are so so now I'm going to take the shade Naked and I'm just going to apply that kind of in the inner just to give the look a little bit more depth and I actually love this for my inner corner because it's not super shimmery. It's literally a satin shadow so it's not super sh shimmery and glittery and it's not matte either to the point where I have to keep packing it on. I actually love this so I'm probably going to grab this a lot for my inner corner. Wow this looks so good. And y'all know I really don't like an inner corner for that reason because sometimes it's too glittery and then I do use a matte in my inner corner sometimes but sometimes I just have to pack it too much and it crumbles. It just becomes a lot. And speaking of crumble, I've gotten like no fallout. Actually, I've gotten no fallout on my face at all. So love that. So the eyeshadow palette is straight. Um, for the price, I love it. I paid $12 for it but I think it's like $22, $24. Still not bad. I would not pay over $20 for this palette in my opinion. Um, it's just pretty like whatever. If you love these colors, then go ahead. That's your coins. Do what you do. But there's so many other palettes out now. It's just kind of like, yeah. So I do have a few face products, but Kylie does not have a foundation. So I'm gonna have to use what I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I'm using my Huda Beauty um, primer. This is a moisturizing one. Excuse my robe and my, and my scarf, you guys. I'm literally getting ready, but I was thinking about doing a get ready with me, but like I don't feel like doing a get ready with me. I just literally wanna do my makeup <laughs> on camera, so. That's what we're doing today. I actually really like this eye. Once I put on some lashes and liner, girl. And I'm gonna go on with my NARS Soft Matte Foundation. You guys know I stand this foundation. This is all I've been wearing. This is, I'm looking around for my, my sponge. That's why you guys see me looking around. But um, this is the shade Marquise, or Marquise's. Um, I changed it because I felt like Macau was a little bit too yellow and this one is like perfect, so. All right, so I blended out my foundation. It's seamless, it looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal, and I don't know, I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna use Toffee. This was supposed to be um, a concealer that was exactly my skin tone, but I think it's a little bit too dark, but I'm just gonna go in anyways and try. I hate when I try new products and it's not going as planned. Like, why, why? He definitely was not supposed to be the shade. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. But we're gonna finesse it, okay? Because I like to double up my concealers, and that's what I bought this for. So we're just gonna see what the formula's like, the blend, blend, ooh, blendability, and yeah. It does have like this strong, like makeupy scent. I don't really like that. I don't like 
what my makeup smells like makeup because I feel like and correct me if I'm wrong when it smells too makeupy I feel like the products are cheap <laughs> that's just the vibe that I get when I smell certain products so um yeah I'm blending this out it's not too bad too far I feel like this shade isn't bad it just could have been a little bit more warm this is a little bit more red versus like yellow especially for the under eye i know i'm probably confusing you guys because you're like didn't you just say you don't like yellow foundations yeah but that's because i like my concealers and like the center of my face to be warmer and i like the outer part of my face to match my neck area so this is definitely giving off a very brown vibe but it's okay and you guys see how like my face was super matte before I put this on and now this is giving it like a little bit of a sheen. I'm not mad at it, but we, we just gonna keep it pushing. So now I'm gonna use the shade Chai to highlight. And again, I hope this does not backfire. I hope this is not backfire. Whoa, okay. Because of the shade, it's giving very much pinky, but it was really hard trying to find a highlighting shade for me because I feel like a lot of her shades ran very peachy or pinky especially with the brown the darker shades which that's all I really looked at I ain't had no business looking at the other shades but it was like really hard so that's why I was like I thought I got sassafras so this um concealer is very like watery I feel like so I'm just gonna give it about 60 seconds to and get a little tacky so that I have more coverage and then I'm gonna blend it out. Alrighty, so it sat for a good minute and now I'm gonna blend it out. I typically like to blend out the center of my face first because these areas I don't want to be like super bright and highlighted. I'm okay with it being a little bit more subtle. And you see why you have to try things? Because now that I'm blending out this concealer, I actually like the color. It's like melting into my skin perfectly. But we're gonna see what that under eye looking like. And I know a lot of people kept saying, do you guys see how that's blending? <laughs> I know a lot of people kept saying like, Kylie's concealer is just ColourPop. Let me tell you, I do like ColourPop's concealers, but I'm not getting the same vibe like I'm not getting the same blendability coverage it's definitely a different concealer sorry to disappoint you guys <laughs> but it's just a lot creamier I feel like a lot more skin like I feel like the um ColourPop one is more matte so they are two different concealers whether or not they're made in the same lab or not two completely different concealers it's blended out it's definitely a lot more subtle than what I would have liked, but it still looks very, very nice. Like, I feel like it blended out really nice. It's not too matte. As you guys know, I've been on this super matte wave. So it's like bringing some, some life back to my skin. Like the rest of my face is matte because of my foundation, but like, it just looks, it's cool, it's cool. So I'm gonna add a little bit more um, right under my eyes, hoping that it will brighten it up a little. Ooh, not that one. <laughs> Hoping that it will brighten it up just a little bit. And yeah. I absolutely love how this concealer is sitting on my skin. It looks gorgeous. It like literally is making me look so filtered and so smooth, but like in a skin like kind of way. Um, I am honestly though gonna change the shades and revisit them because I just don't like the shades that I picked. I feel like they were, those were not the shades I was supposed to pick because I don't remember Toffee being one either. So, I'm gonna send them back. Okay, go to the store because I actually need to go to Ulta tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, send it back. Oh no, <laughs> why would I do this? And um, try again. So I picked up this powder and in the store, this dark looked like um, it was gonna be light enough. This, this video is just a flop. <laughs> It looked like it was gonna be light enough because the one before that looked way too light for my under eye. And I just don't trust a lot of translucent um, powders or yellow powders, especially from certain brands. I just don't know. But I'm gonna try, this dark does look pretty dark though, but I did get the shade dark in her 
But I did get the shade Dark in her setting powder. And it's actually like melting. I probably could have gotten the other one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to um try this again. I feel like with the formula of the concealer and this, it's like a match made in heaven. Like it looks really good. Again, my under eye is not as bright as I would like, but guess what I'm gonna do? And then I'm just gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish for my all over face to set my face because Kylie doesn't have a face powder. I could have got, I could probably use that all over, but I'm not gonna do that because again, I am leaving the house today. So I don't want my face looking crazy when I'm actually leaving the house. Like you all know I do not go out like that. So I don't want the one time, and I want to try to get a picture today, my face looks crazy. Okay, what do we think? I think my face looks pretty good. To be honest with you, I'm not, it's just different. Um, Like looking at the powder, like this is not a powder that I would ever grab to put under my eye, but I'm, I'm not mad at it. Next, I'm gonna bronze, and I hope this bronzer is dark enough. This is in the shade Tawny Mommy. And this is her darkest shade. This is her darkest shade of the bronzer. But we're gonna see, we're not gonna judge. We're gonna see how it works first. I'm gonna be using my Morphe M405 brush and I'm just gonna get to bronzing. I feel like nothing's happening when I do that. Hmm. Okay, Kylie. Okay, I see I see what you're doing here. Because it's giving me a nice, subtle, airy. It's giving me a nice, subtle, airy, bronze look. Like it's literally bronzing my skin. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Whoa. So one thing I will say about this is that it's not very pigmented as soon as you use it, but it is buildable. It's like a nice, again, satin finish. I think her goal, cause I'm gonna swatch this, it's really smooth. I think her goal is like, you know when you look at Kylie, she's beat, but it's still like kind of skin-like in a sense. I think that's her goal for her brand is for everything to be like natural, pretty, but still glam like nothing's ever gonna be I feel like overly cakey or overly matte because you never see her skin look like that like her skin always look like skin even when her face is beat you know so I'm just gonna do one side of my face first so that you guys can let me know if you see a difference because I for sure see a difference so let me know do you guys see the difference between this side and this side in the bronzer I mean I do I like it I like what it's giving. <laughs> Yo, this bronzer, I'm in love with it. I've never had a bronzer that was like really like buildable. I've always had super pigmented bronzers that I had to tread really lightly with and like I can never bronze my face how I want to. But this is the one, honey. I literally am gonna stay here bronzing all day because I just love, I just love what it's doing. So what I'm gonna do instead of using a setting powder is take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Airbrush Flawless Powder in the shade 2 Medium and I'm going to just press this underneath my eyes and it's gonna give me that brightening look without caking me up. Cause this is very bright as you can see. So Kylie does have blushes but I did not get a blush because her blushes just look very, 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 very way too light. <laughs> so I just skipped on that, but I did get a highlighter because I know people love her highlight. And this is in the shade Cheers Darling. And this pan looks like it's about to pop out. What the heck? That's ghetto. Um, I'm just gonna highlight my nose with this. Oh, I like that. You guys know I don't really like highlight on my face, but because I did not get a blush, I feel like I owed you guys and I should just try out the highlight. But the highlight is cool. It's not really smooth. It's kind of like, I mean, it's smooth when you swatch it, but when you apply it to your face, it is kind of gritty. And I don't know about that. 
But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish off my eyes and then I'm gonna come back and do these lips, honey, because Kylie is known for her lips. But I did go ahead and do some liner. I told you guys once I did liner and lashes, the look was gonna be cute. Um, I did try these new lashes by I Envy. They're the Mink 3D Luxury Lashes and this is the style 06. These are what they look like. I also got another pair the other day, somewhere in this mess, but they're really bomb. Like they're super fluffy. This is literally my kind of lash. Like I live. I haven't worn a lash like this in a while. I've really been wearing a lot of like spacey lashes, but I just feel like this really looked good with the the wing because I wasn't supposed to have a wing, but we ended up with a wing, okay? So now to the lips. So I ended up getting a few lip products because I feel like you could never go wrong with lip products. And Kylie Cosmetics started off as Kylie Lip Kit and then she expanded. So I feel like, girl, this better be your best product yet. So I got a red, I know you guys, and this is the shade Red Velvet. I got the shade Kylie. I really did not want this one, but every other good one was sold out and it's just a regular nude. But you know Kylie has a bunch of lip colors. And then I got two glosses. I got her regular high gloss in the shade Always Shining. And then I got a plumping gloss in the shade On Neutral. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly swatch these for you guys and also decide what I want to wear. So this is the plumping gloss in the shade On Neutral. I thought it was pretty opaque. Ooh, it, smell, it smells kinda good, it smells like candy. I thought it was pretty opaque because this is how it looks, but it's coming off pretty sheer. So I actually like that it has like just a little bit of color, like it has that like milky look versus a super opaque nude lip gloss because sometimes I, really, I don't really like that, like that. And then I got Always Shining. This is a regular gloss and I do like the applicator. It's super big. I feel like you can't go wrong with a clear silvery gloss. Um, and this one smells like candy as well. And I don't want to be wasting it too much, but yeah. This is how those look. And this is the lip kits. I got red because I'm on the search for a perfect red. Um, I never wear red because I don't like the shades that they have. But this is the shade Red Velvet. It is literally a true red. It looks so good. And these seem to be very smooth. The only thing I don't like about the lip kits, and to each his own, but especially for my brown girls, I feel like we need a lip liner that is at least a shade darker than the color being applied on the lips. Of course with red, it's a little bit different. You can go in with red. Ooh, I love the lip liner. Oh, I love that. And that's the lip liner. So of course you can go in with a color like red, but with the nudes, I feel like they're not really, you know, brown girl friendly, because like who wants to be wearing a lip liner the same color as the lip kit? Like, I don't want nude on nude. So this is the shade Kylie. It's more like a pinky nude. I got this because I don't really have a pinky nude that I like. So this is the shade Kylie. And these smell good too, wow. They smell amazing actually. And then the lip kit comes in. Okay, so the lip kit is a little, the liner is a little bit darker, but like for my skin tone, this wouldn't do anything. I do really like the lip, the lip liner shade though, more than the lipstick. But I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a little concoction, honey. So I'm actually gonna take my MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Kylie. And I will say, the formula is on point. So now I'm gonna take this liner and just kind of merge my lip liner with the liquid lipstick. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade on neutral just to like tone it down a little bit. I do like the matte lip, but I also wanna see like, this is really cute. But I also wanna see how this is gonna look on top. And I'm just gonna put that on top. You see how it's kind of like sheer, but there's like still color. Guys, I really like my face. I am very impressed. Yes, I am. 
So I just need to put some bottom mascara on, see what my hair is looking like underneath, and I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I took my hair down so you guys can kind of somewhat get the full effect, but I'm keeping my robe on because I just feel like it's a nice, cozy aesthetic. So um, I really, 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 really like my face. I hope you guys can get into it. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. All right, so let's just have a little rundown on the products and what I liked, didn't like what could go and what could stay. So the eyeshadow palette I feel like was cool. My eyes look good, but all right, so let's do a little recap, a little rundown on the products. Starting off with the eyeshadow palette, I feel like the eyeshadow palette was cool. Um, if you are somebody that just likes Kylie that much that you feel like you just wanna buy the eyeshadow palette, go ahead. These colors are not um, anything super unique the formula is not anything that I haven't seen before so was it worth what I paid for it yes would I run out to buy another eyeshadow palette honestly no so next I tried the concealers I honestly feel like the concealers were really 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 nice I love the consistency I love the formula of them I only don't like the shades that I picked up. Again, I did pick up different shades, but apparently they were in the wrong slot. So when I grabbed them, I got the wrong shade. So what I'm gonna do is actually exchange these. Um, and for anybody that doesn't know, by the way, I know this is so off topic. You can exchange makeup after you've used it. Just let them know that you've used it so they can like dispose of it correctly, but you can exchange it or return it once you've used it. Cause I always see like people's comments and other people's videos like, oh my God, you're gonna return used makeup. You're gonna take back used makeup. Yes, you can. I've worked at Ulta, I've worked at Sephora, I've gotten back empty containers of setting spray, I've gotten back so many things, it's outlandish, but you can definitely exchange or take back makeup. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and exchange these and get the shades that I want. No, I am going to because I really, really like the concealer. So next I went in with the powder. Um, her setting powder is really nice. I feel like my skin looks really filtered and really subtle. Um, the only thing is that through this, the dark looked like it was gonna be a nice under eye shade, but it did work as you can see. It's just, I'm so used to like brighter. I'm really talking with my hands today because I'm really getting into it. <laughs> but um, I'm used to like way brighter products for the under eye. So this is kind of different. I am gonna keep this though because I feel like this will really work good for like my lighter days, my no makeup makeup days or something like this. So I'm not mad at this at all. Um, it just was different, especially with the concealer situation. I just felt like I was not going to get the look that I wanted, but I am in love. I love this. So I actually might go ahead and get this in the yellow shade or the medium shade, whatever is underneath that, and try it out. I hope you guys like how I'm doing this. I'm like giving you a recap and my thoughts instead of just trying it and moving on. Because, you know, especially when you do first impressions, I've never tried any of this. I'm kind of like reacting off of the strength of I've never tried anything before so I'm either gonna be like ew or I'm gonna be like oh my god so once it's like settled into my skin and I can really see it I feel like I'm able to give you guys a better review the bronzer absolutely love the bronzer I feel like it's just super soft my skin looks nice and filtered it's not like um, accentuating any kind of texture I have on my face. It's not looking too muddy. It's not too red. I literally looked bronze. I feel like this is gonna be my new go-to bronzer. I'm really impressed because I really did not think that this was gonna be dark enough, but it's actually perfect. Like this bronzer is so nice and I love the formula of it. It's like, it's matte, but it's like slight, like a little demi matte. It's like, a, and I don't wanna say satin because satin kind of means it has a sheen to it. But the formula of it and the consistency and the blendability and I love that it's buildable, it's just perfect. So I definitely, one thing I will say is Kylie did that with the bronzers, okay? The only thing that sucks is that this is the darkest bronzer and I feel like, and I've said this before, if you are providing dark enough um, concealer shades or powder shades, because she has another setting powder that is a shade darker than this, Everything complexion wise needs to, to go with it. So you should have at least one or two more bronzer shades for your deeper girls because you do offer darker powders and darker concealers. Why would you kind of half ass the complexion? I mean, she does have like five bronzers, but I just feel like she could probably add one or two more just 
to have a full range. And then I did get the um, highlighter. You guys know how I feel about highlighter. I really only like it on my nose. I don't put highlighter on my cheek like that because I feel like throughout the day, I get this natural sheen. And you guys can already see, like once I spray my setting spray, I have like this look on my face. And I like it. I like this better than like that beaming highlight. So yeah, I don't really use highlight like that, but I do use it on my nose. I do like it. I feel like these are really popular when like highlight was a thing. Like everybody wanted highlighter to be like beaming. I feel like that's what this was, but this is a really nice highlighter. The only thing though is this is the darkest shade that she had in the highlight. And I just feel like again with the whole complexion situation, let me show you guys and cover the mirror so you guys can see. And this is how it looks on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But anyways, um, that goes with what I said about the complexion stuff earlier. It has to make sense. Lastly, I got the, what are these called? The lip products. <laughs> and I feel like the lip kits do live up to the hype. The formulation of the liners are really nice and the um, liquid lipsticks. But I just wish that the liners maybe like give people an option to have like different shades of liners to go with this. I know that's a lot of work or I don't know. I just for me buying a lip kit, I'm literally never going to use the liner because it's just too light. And then the lip glosses I really like. I feel like you cannot go wrong with lip glosses. Um, I do like this plumping gloss a lot. I like the feeling that it's giving me and I do feel like really pouty. I don't know if lip um, plumping glosses work. I just really like the feeling of them. I've literally just been wearing plumping lip glosses a lot and I just like that like, I feel like they do make you go like this because you don't want to close your mouth. You kind of be like, <laughs> so I don't know and then I got this one I really like the color of this not sure if the formulation is different but I'm sure it will give the same look same vibe so whew, that was a lot of talking but hopefully you got all the information you need for those of you who may have been skeptical um, about shopping with Kylie cosmetics maybe this will make it easier for you to shop if you still don't like it Sorry, there's hundreds of other makeup brands and more that I will be showing you. So yeah, I enjoyed this. I really do like my makeup. I enjoyed the products. Um, will I run to buy Kylie products when they launch? No, honestly, I'm not going to. But I've tried them. I came, I saw, I conquered, and that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Comment below some other brands you guys want me to try out and I will see what I can do. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.